Hello Year 7, Mr Gush here. Um, in this video, I'm going to go through the percentages homework. This is week 10. Okay, just before we start, what you need is a pen and piece of paper or pencil. And make sure you've got access to your maths watch. Right, just a quick reminder. So if your name was Lionel Messi, your user would be HHS19 Messi L for Lionel at Hartzell and your password would be lowercase Hartzell. Okay, just a quick warm up question, just to see how much you know. Uh, can you work out what is 50% of 80, then work out 25% of 80, and then finally 75% of 80? If you wanna pause the video, give you time to check, sorry, work it out, then you can do. Okay, so the answers are, well, 50% is 40, you could work that out, that's just half of 80, you should hopefully know that. 25% uh, would then be half of this 40 value. And then 75%, well, if you just add 50% and 25% together, you get 75%. So 40 and 20 must be 60. Right, so one way we could um, visualise percentages is if you look at the battery on your phone. Now, if your battery was on 100% charge, so I'm just going to put down 100% here. And let's say if it's 100% charge, you could only talk for 80 minutes. Okay, so if it was on 50% charge, so let's imagine you only charged your phone for 50%, you would only be able to speak for 40 minutes. Okay, now let's assume you charged it only to 25%. Well, if 50% is 40, then 25% should surely be 20 minutes worth of talk time. Sorry about this pen. Right, so. 75% would be 25% plus your 50. So 25% is 20 minutes. 50% is 40 minutes. So 75% would be 25 plus 50, which will give you 60 minutes of talk time. Okay, so now we know the basics. Let's just use the same diagram and try some different percentages. So we know, well, we're going to keep saying that the full battery gives us 80 minutes. So that's 100%. And we know that 50% is 40. Okay, what about if we want to work out what 10% is? Now 10% is here. Now if we look on this diagram, you've got 10%, 20%, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So there's actually 10 10% 10 in 100. So there's 10 uh, sections. So if we divide 80 minutes by 10, that means 10% equals eight minutes okay so that would be eight minutes there so 20 percent if we charge a battery to 20 percent you'd expect to be speaking for 16 minutes 30 percent you just add another eight on so that would be 24 minutes 40%, 32 minutes, and 50%, which is a pair, well, we already know what that is, that's 40 minutes, or you could add another eight onto 32. Right, okay, I'm um, just gonna raise this section here. Okay, so we know that's 10%. Now half of this would be 5%. 
So what do you think that might be? Well, we know that 10% is eight minutes. So 5% would only be four minutes. So that's four minutes, that's four minutes. So can you see 10% is eight minutes? Now, if we wanted to work out 15%, all we need to do is work out, well, we know 10% is eight, and we now know 5% is four minutes. So 15%, all we need to do is add them together and you'd have 12 minutes on your phone to speak. Okay, so using that information, I'm gonna get you to fill this grid in. I'm gonna do 80 first, and then what I'd like you to do is to do 60, 160, 220, and then 540. Okay, so we already know that 10% of 80 is eight. Okay. 20%, well, we know 10% is 8, so 20% must be double 8, so that would be 16. 50%, well, that's just half of 80, which is 40. Another way we could have done it is we know that this is 10, and what we can do is just times it by 5. Five percent. We know ten percent is eight. So what we need to do is just divide this by two. So half of eight is four. Okay. Now to work out what fifteen percent is, the quickest way to do it is to get your ten percent, get your five percent, and this will make fifteen. So you do eight add four. And then that will equal 12. Okay, so you add your 10% and your 5%, which will give you uh, 12. Right, to work out 35%, you've got to figure out what you need to add up to get your 35%. So I would use this one 20% plus, well, we've already worked out 15%, so I'd work out, I'd use this one, sorry. So it'd be 16 add 12 which would give you 28 minutes right 65 percent i'm going to use a different color now so 65 percent i would use 50 percent and again 15 percent so 50 percent is 40 and 15 percent is 12 add them together and you get 52. Right, 95%. Okay, so most people will do 50 plus maybe 20 plus 20 plus five. A quicker way to do this is 95%. Well, we know 100% is 80. And all we're doing, we're taking away 5%. So I'll, I would just take away four. And that will give you 70 six now you could add 50 plus 20 plus 20 plus 5 or 50 plus 40 plus 40 percent plus 5 but the quickest way would be to do 100 percent, which is 80 take away 4 right what i'd like you to do now is to copy and complete this table pause the video and there should be answers on the next slide right so here's the rest of the answers for 60 160 220 540 uh, put the video on pause and mark your work. Right, quick fire question. I want you to work out what 10% of 70 is and then what it would be if you increase 70 by 10%. So what is 70 increased by 10%? Right, so 10% of 70 is going to be 7 because all you need to do is divide that by 10. And if you're going to increase 70 by 10%, well, we know that 10% is 7, so all you need to do is add 7 onto 70. Right, so these are the questions that are on your Maths Watch homework. So again, I'm going to do an example, which is similar to the actual question. Now, let's say we have to, we had to increase... 150 
let's say grams by 10%. Well, 10% of 150 grams is 15 grams. And then all we need to do is add it on. So it'll be 150 plus 15, which will give us 165 grams. Example two, if I want to decrease by 10%. Again, we know that 10% of 150 grams equals 15 grams. And rather than adding it on, we're decreasing, so we take it away. So it'll be 150, take away 15, which will give you 135 grams. Okay, so on your homework question, you've got Rianne sets a maths test and an English test. In the maths test, she scores 14 out of 17, and in the English test, she scores 31 out of 39. Now, to compare these two, we need to convert them into percentages. Now, let's say, for example, you got 5 out of 10 in the test. Well, you should be able to look at that and think, well, they got half right, so that's 50%. Now, what you need to do for more complicated ones, like 14 out of 17, I don't know if that's 70%, 80%, it could be anything. You need to use a calculator. So if you just tap this into your calculator, five divided by 10, now that will give you 0 0.5. Then what you need to do to that value is times it by 100. And that will give you 50%. So let's just say, for example, you got 24 out of 60 in a test times that by 100 and that will give you 40% okay let's just get the calculator out and if you had for example 4 I don't know, let's do something strange 13 out of 27 and then we need to times that by 100 okay so using our calculator 13 divided by 27 just a fractional answer we could change that to a decimal times by 100 you press sd to make it into a decimal number and that is equal to 48 0.1%. Now you might have to round it to the nearest whole number or to one decimal place, the question will tell you. So there you go.